Hello, my name is um, Dr. Mark Davis. I'm a consultant dermatologist at Mayo Clinic uh, Rochester here in Minnesota. And today I want to talk about the entity of dermatitis. Dermatitis, strictly speaking, means um, inflammation of the skin. The itis meaning inflammation and derm meaning skin. So inflammation of the skin. And it's a very common thing that I think everybody experiences at some time in their life. One can be predisposed towards getting it from birth. Um, that's called atopic dermatitis and it's often associated with asthma and hay fever. But also, even if you're not predisposed to it, um, any of us can get um, dermatitis during our lifetimes. There's lots of different types of dermatitis. There's one type that affects the um, central face and that's called seborrheic dermatitis. That often affects the scalp too and causes dandruff. And a ton of people have that. Um, there's other types of dermatitis including contact dermatitis where um, something coming in contact with your skin irritates your skin or um, causes an allergy in the skin so that a few days after contact you get um, a, um, a dermatitis in that area. Dermatitis can be really bothersome. Why? Well mainly because it can be very itchy. Some patients describe it as painful. Um, and some people are just bothered by the appearance of it with some scaling on the skin. Now what, um, what are the things that need to be done when you have dermatitis? Well, we need to try and calm down the dermatitis and there's lots of different treatments for that. One of them is topical corticosteroids, um, which we tend to use a lot. But then there's also some subs new substitutes for the um, topical corticosteroids too that don't cause some of the side effects of the stronger topical corticosteroids. And then we also have light treatments that can help. Um, we can um, prescribe um, avoidance of the things that are irritating or causing allergy of the skin. And then we can also prescribe medications that suppress the immune system in the skin um, in, in very complicated um, dermatitis. Um, dermatitis can affect very limited areas of the body or it can be all over the skin and it can be a very vexing uh, problem. Um, many times patients go from center to center to try and find an answer for this dermatitis. While nearly everybody would like just one pill to try and get rid of it, um, often it's a more complex and um, ongoing um, um, problem to try and fix. In other words, that um, one, uh, that treatment only lasts for as long as you use it and that you need to co continue using that treatment over time to keep the dermatitis suppressed. In, in, in other words, it's not a, a one tablet and everything will disappear um, type of problem. Now, why would you come to Mayo Clinic uh, for this? Well, we have um, um, a lot of physicians that are extremely expert in this specific area of dermatitis. We have um, a lot of different investigation techniques that we can use, um, not only blood tests and lab tests, but also a, a thing called patch testing, where one patch tests um, a patient to um, the things that they might be allergic to, the commonest things that cause allergy. And that, that's a five-day procedure, which can be quite complex to do, but we, we're all set up to do it, and that can be very helpful. It can be sometimes difficult to sort out dermatitis from other dermatologic problems, so we are experts in that. And then as regards management of dermatitis, we have um, a specialized center for management of dermatitis. First of all, we, t we use um, very intensive topical treatments um, with topical creams and often what we call wet dressings that are really efficient in calming down really um, bad dermatitis. We can do that as an outpatient or in a hospital setting if it's appropriate. We also have um, all the different types of modality of light that are um, available and that can be um, um, done, e um, initiated here um, at Mayo Clinic. We also are expert in the different systemic treatments that can be used. So overall, I think um, if you have very complicated dermatitis or dermatitis that's not responding to treatment, I um, think that coming to a center such as Mayo Clinic can be very helpful to get it under control.